Hello, I'm Laure Gossec, Professor of Rheumatology at the Sorbonne University in Paris, France. In addition to physician-reported and lab data, use of well-defined and reliable patient-reported outcomes, or PROs, is essential for drawing comprehensive conclusions regarding the outcomes of treatments for rheumatoid arthritis. In the October 2019 issue of the Journal of Rheumatology, we reported our findings on the effect of cerilimab on important PROs in patients with RA as assessed by the RAID scale. The RAID, or Rheumatoid Arthritis Impact of Disease Scale, is an internationally validated tool specifically designed for patients with RA, and it evaluates seven domains, each with a single item or question. The domains cover seven key aspects of impact. Pain, functional impairment, and fatigue are the ones most often mentioned by patients as important. Emotional and physical well-being, sleep, and ability to cope are also important. The seven domains can be reported separately from zero, best, to 10, worst. Lower scores indicate less impact of the disease on the patient. In the total rate score, each domain is given a specific weight, reflecting its importance to patients. So, more weight is given to pain, functional impairment, and fatigue. Patients completed the RAID questionnaire in two randomized, double-blind cerilimab studies, Target and Monarch. Differences from baseline in total RAID and individual domain scores were secondary endpoints. In Target, all patients received conventional synthetic DMARDs. It compared the efficacy and safety of cerilimab 150 and 200 milligrams every two weeks versus placebo in patients intolerant of or who had had an inadequate response to one or more TNF inhibitors. Monarch was a monotherapy superiority study that compared the efficacy and safety of cerilimab 200 milligrams versus adalimumab 40 milligrams, both given every two weeks in patients who should not start or continue treatment with methotrexate due to intolerance or inadequate response. In the target study, we can see that there was a slight improvement in mean total rate score in the placebo arm, around one point on a zero to 10 scale. Patients treated with cerilimab improved more, with a very clear improvement of two and a half to three points already at 12 weeks. In Monarch, the improvement was of a similar magnitude in patients treated with cerilimab, and the improvement was better than with adalimumab at week 12 and week 24 as well. Treatment with cerilimab also improved individual domain scores. To compare effects, we calculated effect sizes, which are a standardized way to measure effects and are considered clinically significant when above 0.5. The effect sizes with cerilimab in both trials were greatest on the three key domains of pain, function, and fatigue, and the effect was less important on sleep. This probably reflects that sleep disturbances and even well-being are multifactorial in rheumatoid arthritis. To explore more the clinical significance of our findings, we looked at the proportions of patients responding. With cerilumab by week 24 with a higher cerilumab dose, over four in 10 patients achieved a minimal clinically important improvement in rate score of three points or more. This was more than in the comparator groups. We also assessed what could be called the RAID patient acceptable state, which is an absolute total RAID score of three points or less on a zero to 10 scale. And this was attained more frequently with cerilumab than with placebo or adalimumab. Please read our full paper to learn more about the improvements seen in patient reported outcomes with cerilumab treatments in patients with RA.